Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Arabic Fluency channel. If you are new here, we make videos around Arabic poetry, Islamic history, and other topics to help inspire you to learn the Arabic language. So if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you are interested in learning Arabic, please check out my free course in the description. ومن ينفق الساعات في جمع ماله ما خافة فقر فالذي فعل الفقر وإذا ظلمت فإن ظلمي باسل مر مذاقته كطعم العلق ألم تعلمي أني إذا الضيف نابني وعز القراء أقر السديف المسرهدا So let's get started Why is it important for you to have a note-taking system. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Qayyidu al-ilma bil-kitab. Tie up knowledge by writing it down. Our brains are designed to have ideas, not to hold on to them. It is extremely easy for ideas, information and knowledge to be forgotten and thereby lost forever. Having a reliable system to record, organize, and recall knowledge when necessary is critical. Realizing this caused me to look for the best note-taking system. The best system that I have come across is the Zettelkasten, which is the German for notebooks. It was developed by the German sociologist Niklas Luhmann, who built an impressive personal knowledge system which allowed him to write 70 books and 400 articles during his academic career. His knowledge system was so efficient and beneficial that others continue to benefit from it to this day. So what is the Zettelkasten method? The basic idea behind the system is that you write down concise notes on small index cards from what you read, hear or think about. On the back of these cards you can also put additional thoughts and comments. Later, you go back to these cards, ideally within a few days, and develop them into permanent notes. For recalling them easily later, you will also need to index them and try to find links with other notes. For my personal system, I have tried to simplify this method and make it digital for easy access. Now let me show you my system in depth. The first step is to capture the information. For this step, you need a quick and easily accessible tool that is ideally with you all the time. This can be a simple notes app on your phone. Uh, I would recommend if you're on iOS, uh, an app called Drafts or even the native notes app on the iPhone. For Android, you can use the native notes app again or something like Google Keep. For this step, you should be recording any information that you'd like to remember in a few summarized words. The second step is to tag and organize these notes. Correctly label and organize the notes into broad topics so that you can find them easily. I use general labels like reference, learning and ideas. The third and final step is to go back to these temporary notes that you have made and develop them into clear permanent notes. These should be organized into more specifically labeled folders and topics. You should also try to understand and learn the material as you develop these notes. My recommended apps for this is OneNote if you're on Windows or the native Notes app if you are on Mac. If you are a bit more tech savvy, you can use a program called Obsidian, which allows you to write in Markdown and also to link the notes together in a meaningful way to develop a more efficient knowledge system. Over time, you can build your own unique knowledge system based on your thoughts and studies, which you can revise, reference, uh, and go back to whenever you need. Building this system will also allow you to have a better understanding and retention of the things you learn. I want to leave you with the words of Saeed ibn Jubair who says, I traveled in the night with Ibn Abbas on the road to Mecca and he would tell me hadith and I would write it down on the mount of my right and then write it down properly in the morning. I hope you found this beneficial and inshallah I will see you for the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.